Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of online examination system and in this project I'm going to uh, add uh, some controllers uh, and uh, action methods and their ex and action methods. So uh, just add a account controller first of all. You know that account controller is related to the login and logout features. So uh, first of all add a dependency injections uh, for the account controller and you know very well uh, that is the i account service okay so uh, similarly you you can notice that uh, each independency interfaces are assigned uh, in a class in account uh, in every uh, controller class so similarly accounts uh, i account service implemented at here uh, sorry uh, applied at here and uh, i account service uh, initialized uh, in the constructor account controller and uh, after that create a new action method that is login and what is the login uh, that is actually uh, in this project I am not using uh, dependency uh, sorry identity uh, here I am using a session you know very well uh, so login view model you know that uh, here we uh, always use uh, separation of concerns so login view model use that here session object http context dot session dot get login view model and uh, just get um, the name of the login view model that is login vm so get method is actually a extension method uh, just uh, uh, i will implement uh, just after a few sec uh, few minutes you can say uh, in as a extension method in the project so if session object is double equals to null then return view uh, this, then res their respective view will be generated that is the login okay else return a redirect user a actually redirect user is not a uh, mm, uh, you can say the view but uh, I will implement a redirect user uh, as a method uh, in the project in later on so just wait for the few seconds and after that I, will, I have to create a get extension method as well as the redirect user method okay so the next thing to do it here is just copy that uh, that extension method again and paste it here for the logout log out okay and in the logout method and the simple thing you can do that is the uh, that is the get is in the login login just get the information from the session and the log uh, logout i mean to say that set login features so http context dot session dot set login view model login vm and null in which you can pass the null object and return redirect user again sorry redirect to action method in, in uh, after the logout that is the login again you can uh, log uh, you can move to the login view just move down just copy that and paste again for the login after getting the information from the login uh, um, you can say uh, login get method after that that features will applied in the post action method and also you can add a validate nt43 tokens a login view model a login okay login view login view model okay so just removed if model uh, model state dot is valid if uh, it is valid i mean to say that nt43 tokens is valid so after that a login view model get it from uh, get data data from account service dot login uh, login view model okay just get the information from uh, from the database table you can say and a login vm is not equals to null then you have to assign http context dot session dot set okay and in in the login uh, in the session you have to set the login information and that information is inside in the login view model like username passwords etc you uh, just you have to set so login vm and after that login view model that is login vm okay and 
रिटर्न रिडायरेक्ट यूजर ओप्स रिडायरेक्ट यूजर दैट इज अन इम्प्लीमेंटेड मैथड एक्चुअली जस्ट आई विल लेटर ऑन आई विल डिस्कस ऑन दैट लॉग इन वी एम इन विच यू कैन पास लॉग इन वी एम सो दैट इज द सिंपल थिंग यू कैन डू इन एवरी प्रोजेक्ट इफ यू आर यूजिंग सेशन इफ जस्ट गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डाटा बेस टेबल बाई यूजिंग अकाउंट सर्विस डॉट लॉग इन एंड इफ लॉग इन वी एम इज नल इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू नल दैन सेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू द सेशन एंड use the redirect user method if if it is uh, model state is not valid then return view with the login view model okay the same thing uh, the same uh, views will be generated so the next method is used at here is that is redirect user okay so in you notice that redirect user we have a login vm so login view model applied at here login view model and one by one you have to check in the login view model what is get so the first thing is login view model oops login view model dot role first of all role uh, that is integer and enum roles dot admin teacher and students so enum roles dot admin if it is admin then return redirect to action and uh, index action method and the controller name is users okay so just after that i have to create a user action a user controller else if again a login view model dot role again is double equals to enum roles dot teacher if it is teacher then return redirect to action redirect to action and index exams okay if it is role is ex, uh, teacher then controller name is exams return redirect to action i mean to say that a uh, student is remaining profile and students okay so just remove that okay so that's pretty cool things so the one thing is remaining it had here is the extension method so just create a session extension method to get uh, to set or get the information from the session so just save that and add a new extension method so just a class create a static class for the extension method that is session extensions okay and uh, that class will make it at a sp uh, static so public static class session extensions guys uh, that project is very useful for you uh, to implement uh, ex online examination system with the proper uh, the proper uh, you can say with the proper code optimization of code a separation of concern is there and lots of features will uh, uh, is did implemented at here so public static void set the first method is the set and the t is the class name in which you can pass the login view model and this is used for the i session session and a key and the value okay so set string key first of all a session serializer dot serialize method and in which you can pass the value you notice that the json serializer is used to uh, implement a uh, unicode characters and uh, just convert into the new uh, patterns okay so just use at it here it's not a uh, simple text will be passed into in in your history in your browser history you can say so you just use json serializer dot serialize that value after that you have to get the value and that t is at here for your class name that is login view model so this i session session string key and the value 
so just i want to get the key only in the get method so just use that here that is the string key so session value i want to uh, get the information from the session so session dot get string key return value is the uh, sorry if uh, also compare the value if value is double equals to null then uh, return default otherwise ingestion serializer dot deserialize t of the class value okay oops it double equals to and uh, i think it's clear the set and the get uh, error is clear one more error is there that is the login and oops not all code path written the value you can notice that the model state is valid i know that uh, but else is uh, nothing at use here because the if model state is not valid then return view directly so uh, just useless uh, else is useless at here so just remove the else uh, from the context because the model state is not valid then return directly into the view session you notice that so just remove that and remove the errors thank you very much for watching this video